Welcome back. I just wanted you guys to sit there in that awkward silence for a little bit. <sighs> I figured you deserved a little something after the... <clears throat> after the mess this week has been. Now, naturally you're just awestruck by this uh, set of armor that we're wearing. I don't entirely know where it came from. I have, I'm, shit. I installed a mod from the same guy who did the vigilant mod and so much of the other stuff that we have installed. But I can't say for certain that's where this armor set came from. It is not the only one that we in fact have. Ignore her. Need something. We have two others. Heck, these things may be in the game. These may even come from the base game, and I wouldn't know. Again, I haven't played the base game for any stretch of time unmodded, so... Joke would be on me in that case. Regardless, we have two other sets. Uh, one, the Knight of Kynareth? Kynareth? Anyway, we have the Knight of <clears throat> We have the Knight of Kynareth set, which culminates with this beauty of a helmet. Hmm, that's quite nice. And then there's the Knight of Zenithar set that culminates with this this just mm, this masterpiece. <sighs> now now that we've taken care of that, you should also know these three sets. Oh, wait, there is here. This set also comes, these sets also come with their own signature weapons. I figured I should keep this one because it's just so nice. But now that I see the damage on it, uh, that's got to be handed over to someone. Well, to, what's her name? I don't. I don't pay attention to her name all that much. Uh, right now, we have a follower who I'm keeping around mostly because, well, let's put this into perspective for you guys. The last time we met was around 50 hours of playtime for this, this modded session. I'm currently sitting at about 74 hours as of this save. And the last time, well, a shell died around 50, 51 ish hours. So the last time we saw each other was probably 52, somewhere around there. Now, I have tried recording this game before. I recorded a game yesterday. I'm recording this as of Saturday. And this one will be going up the very same day. So, just to put things into perspective, I did record a game yesterday. It went fine. <clears throat> it went fine, except for all of the crashing. I go to... I end the session, go to turn off or stop the recording. It doesn't stop. Which means now my video is corrupted. But unlike the last time that happened, I had switched to recording to MKV rather than MP4, which is unfortunate because it adds more time to editing, but whatever. Supposedly switching to MKV allows you to be able to recover the video because of how MKV works. I would like to see her equip this, but it doesn't. I don't intend to be fighting undead anytime soon. Nevertheless, what was I saying? Uh, I was talking about, yeah. So I stopped, yeah, because of how MKV works, it was supposed to be, you know, a stopgap measure against the videos becoming corrupted. 
and being completely unusable. <laughs> Didn't help. Apparently, it had stopped recording just before I had... There are points in the video where I stop... <sighs> where I stop commentating in order to do some of the mundane stuff like purchasing and selling equipment and items. This was one of those occasions where I had stopped doing, I had stopped commentating. So the video basically only goes up to the part where I was just about to restart commentation. I don't think that's a word. Anyway, so that's where the video stops. Just there was nothing I could do with that. There was basically no video. And of course, this was the second time it had happened this week. I'm sure you can understand I was, this is, oh right, this is the weapon from the Kynareth set, the one with the dragon mask or helmet. It's a spear that functions like a greatsword, but it's a spear. Wait, what is the hammer of Mara's damage? Oh, it's 26, of course, because it's a hammer. Do I want to see her bulk or do I want to see her stab? It would have to be stab because of the... Because of the stuff I have her equipping. Where is she? Apparently she's stuck on some. No. Thought well, she was stuck on something. Of course. Where is it? Right, I have a lot of stuff I need to sell. As you can see in the lower Wow, as you can see in the lower right hand corner, our carry weight is 565 out of the same. All too glad to get that out of here. Now, she exists primarily to help keep me alive while I rank the pugilism and monk skill trees. I think that's it. For some reason, she doesn't equip a lot of the armor that I try to give her. I'm not entirely sure why, and I don't really care all that much. Now, a few things to note. The game is going to be, from this point forward, a little bit darker than usual. I installed some lighting mods, so it's going to have an effect. Vampire? Did I kill the vampire? Okay, so among the things I've been doing for the past 20-ish hours since we last, well, since we last spent any time together, what I've been doing is handling the uh, tasks assigned from this board and leveling up the pugilist and monk where are they hold on i do need to do this really quickly i did some of this stuff in the previous video figuring that it would be figuring that you guys would know about it unfortunately that's just not how it worked out Instead, it all just turned into wasted effort and time. And I really, really hate those two things. Also, we are now level 45 and we are very... We are on the cusp of level 46. Uh, what's that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is the pugilist tree. 
why does this say unarmed strikes deal 20 points of additional damage when it should be 25? It showed, last time I saw this, I don't have any points to put into this, but last time I saw this, maybe that's why. Anyway, last time I saw this, it said deal 25 points of additional damage. Yeah, whatever. Apparently this tree is meant to be, what's the word? Hmm. This tree is supposed to be legendary or something like that. I'm sure you guys understand. I, I haven't done it before, so it's a freaking mystery to me. Anyway, so we currently have attacks with hand-worn weapons are 35% faster. We have black hand, which uh, increases our unarmed sneak damage by 10% or 10 times its normal damage. And I'm also wearing... Well, I also have gloves that allow me to deal double damage with sneak attacks trust me as much as i don't like it sneak attacks are sometimes really really necessary well sneaking around and performing sneak attacks tends to be really really necessary because i die quite a bit right now it's not as much as it was when we first started, which you guys would know about if the video hadn't been corrupted. <sighs> Maybe. I've done a lot of stuff since... I've done, I've done a lot of stuff in the time that would have been considered in between videos. Frankly, I don't know. I can't even... I, I'm not even sure when the last time I recorded when the last successful recording was. Right. Anyway. Uh, oh, right. This one. Pugilist stance. Unarmed power attacks cost 30% less stamina. This can only... I can only put another point into this once I legendary this tree. Body blows allows me to deal direct damage to their stamina while I'm attacking them per hit. So that's 20 points of stamina damage per hit. Let's see, what did I miss here? We have improved critical chance of unarmed attacks by 20%. And keep in mind, I attack 35% faster and I have mods installed that fix the way attack speed... What's, what's the word? Attack speed bonuses stack. So... Oh, and it also increases critical damage by 15 points. Spear hand increases, well, allows me to ignore 50% of the target's armor. Counter punch lets me deal more damage while they're attacking. So, I'm, if they're attacking, it's probably... I'm probably doing a power attack anyway. Attacks with hand-worn weapons stagger the opponent when they're attacking and knife hand on this side damage dealt with light attacks increases by 10 percent of your one-handed skill we have guard breaker power attacks with worn hand hand worn weapons stagger the opponent if they're blocking which is really awkward because if you hit some power attacks with unarmed weapons are weird you, you tend to still do the the single attack and then you go into the charge or well, the power attack so basically you're already doing a glancing blow off of their guard which usually gets dropped immediately after so guard breaker was a was not something i wanted but needed in order to get to meridian channel which basically does the exact same thing as body blows it deals damage directly to the target's uh, mana. Magica, I hate that. Magica is not a good word. It deals damage directly to their mana while you're attacking. Unrelenting blows. I, it just doesn't sound useful. 
Unarmed power attacks have a 10% chance to push away the opponent when they're out of stamina. That's not good. In fact, that is counterproductive. So I'm never putting a point into that. Just wanted to show you guys that tree. Now... Just so you know, if you install this mod and you set those two statues down, you can pick them back up by power attacking them. I just wanted to show you that. Now, the, the Way of the Monk mods skill tree is a little cumbersome. Oops. This one. This shout, or power, I guess you could call it. It's not a shout, so ignore that. This power allows you to access the skill tree. If you have perk points, I currently don't. So, now you know. Nevertheless, the perks... The, the way you... The way it works is kind of a mess. I'm, I'm not a fan of it. Thankfully, I don't have to interact with it all that frequently. Now, as for what we're going to do today, I genuinely have no idea. But, over in Sarthal, we do have this, but I can't even get into freaking Sarthal because I need a freaking key, and I don't know where to get the key from. So, um, over here, we have a murder mystery. And I'm looking to solve that. Also, before I forget, let me do something quite necessary. I need to swap my armor back to what I usually wear, which is I'm pretty sure it's glass armor. Boots of the Ox and Invigoration. I'm keeping this in case I ever need to summon something serious, like the... Let me tell you really quickly, I don't believe I got into it in the previous video, which I can barely remember. After we, after we killed the Child of Oblivion, I, Julius, that was his name. After we killed Julius, right in between his death and the appearance of Molik Ball, there's a notification that you received a piece of Ball. That is a tome allowing you to summon Julius. Julius is powerful, like, disgustingly powerful. I mean, if he gets hit, that's, that's a wrap, right? But that's, that's obvious. He's, not only is he a summoner, he uses really strong flame spells, and it's, it, it, it's quite nice. Oh, that's why I have those. Okay, so, what else do we have? I need this and so I've been using summons as well to help me level the that's not the one I wanted to help me level what is it yeah the uh, pugilist tree because I don't think putting getting points in it actually helps your damage at a base level. Frick, I really need to put this away. These things are not light. I just wanted to do the intro with the, with the Mara set. Because frankly, it's fascinating. But killing the guy that had it was a nightmare. Because it, I was still early on in the... in leveling the pugilist tree. So I did not have very much damage. And also keep in mind, if you guys are trying to make a a hand-to-hand -hand fighter and you install the hand-to-hand -hand rebalancing mod alongside the the hand-to-hand -hand, the mod that I'm using for the pugilist tree is not 
doesn't fall under the name Pugilist because that's not what the mod maker named it. That's what the translator of the mod names it for the sake of the mod. The mod itself is hand-to-hand -hand combat. So, just so you know, if you use hand-to-hand -hand combat, the hand-to-hand -hand combat mod alongside the hand-to-hand -hand rebalance mod, you're not going to be able to equip any of the unarmed weapons. You're just not. For whatever reason, they, they auto-unequip when you try to equip them. And it proves really awkward. And you do no damage without them. So you need to remove hand-to-hand -hand rebalanced. Which sucks, because it added attack speed and some stagger stuff that would have been really nice to have. What am I looking for? My goddamn gloves. Uh... They're the same as... Yeah, Sacrament. Jeez, it should not be this hard to find stuff in here. So as you see, these allow me to deal double sneak attack damage with any weapon. Good God. Now, as for the crashing that was, that transpired in the previous video that never will be, where are we headed? We need to go to the residential quarter, right? Doesn't matter what time of day it is right now for this. Is this the right way? Stay out of trouble. <sighs> be on the lookout. The fortune could be around any corner. Now, <clears throat> about the crashes that transpired in the previous video. For the Skyrim could use uh, this way? What the frick? Yeah, it's it. so it's this way. I'm, I think I understand what caused the videos to become corrupt. Aside from the the usual issue with OBS, which is the uh, the number of skipped frames becoming too high. I'm pretty sure it has to do, thank goodness we are inside, because I, anyway, I'm pretty sure the issue with the videos becoming corrupt has to do with the fact that the game crashed, which required that I reloaded it, which resulted in a ton of missing frames, which for whatever reason upset OBS once I tried to stop recording the video. Hours after I had passed that point where the missing frames had transpired, I, it, OBS is dumb that way. I've looked into it online and there are no, I don't want to put hours into researching that. It's just not worth it. So I did some limited, I did some limited research. and found that I don't really have many options to avoiding this problem outside of switching the file type that the game, that the videos s record into, which frankly doesn't help anything. Now, I've come to this room before, and I don't know if I even have I came in here before and it said that the, this chair is stacked on the bed in an in an odd way, which makes me think that there's something about it, but I can't figure out what that is. It's pointing in the corner. I've done everything I can in that corner. There's nothing going on in that corner. 
So what am I missing? There are no scratch marks on the floor noting anything's been moved. I searched the wardrobe. There's nothing going on in there, right? Right. I've searched every inch of this room and there's nothing going on here that I'm aware of. I can't help feeling like I've missed something. Anyway, I've put on this strange necklace, the strange amulet, because I found that down here. I found it over here under these papers, which are all back on the shelf now. I pulled all of these off of the shelf just for the fun of it, but they're back up there now. There's nothing else in here for me to do, and I don't know I'm completely lost. You need to move. And so I go to... What's his freaking face? <sighs> so now we need to go to the palace and visit... So... Zolfine? I don't really care what his name is. We go to. We have to go to the palace and see if this guy is finally going to give us some advice. We. I've been gone for what is in game go days. Supposedly, he's supposed to give me advice on how to solve the uh, the murders, but he's done nothing helpful, uh, except for stand here and sometimes sit here. How goes the investigation? It's not useful. Travel safely. I'm not much. The R has put out. I don't. I don't care about this. I just wanted to help trying to figure out this. The Imperials think us all lawless beasts. I'm proof of it. Okay. A gift from the lover. Orcish battle axe of burning. Yeah, I should probably deal with this before I forget. Now. In the previous video that I had recorded, I was I told you guys about the Lover Stone and the mod that I had installed that changed all the stones and their effects. Oh, mother fricker's not even open. Now, the Lover Stone itself has changed from whatever it used to be to now. It revives me once every 15 minutes in game. And and it also grants me extra, no, it grants me an item every so often. And these items are no joke most of the time. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. For starters, they're all free, so you can sell them at any point in time. Secondly, they're all enchanted, always. You never know when you're going to get Hello one. Hello and welcome, my... Hello, friend. Take a look. I just really need to get some of this stuff out of my inventory. <sighs> I've got enough money, so I don't need... Well, now... The left-handed rings mod is starting to look pretty good. I'm st I'm still working on the the class that we're going to play for the third mod, but that's that's not a concern right now. It's way too far off in the future. I'll take that because I can. Now I think I'm going to concern myself with actual making, actually making a profit from what we sell here. So I don't have enough blues, so I need to suck down some potions, mostly for glibness and I don't think I have any of the other ones. Nope. Good to see. 
take a look. Do need that. <sighs> so I've installed a number of mods just since just since yesterday. One of them, well, some of them I already had installed, but were deactivated because reasons. Well, mostly because I wanted this this specific mod session and series to be unmarred by the addition of things that I weren't I wasn't intending to actually use this one I wanted to sell I want to get rid of the heavy stuff I'm keeping these I'm keeping these two for the third mods class. Right, I have a bunch of mage stuff that I can't get rid of here. Because he apparently doesn't care, and I don't blame him. Uh, what else are we looking for? Weapons we need to sell. Right. Now, as for the unarmed weapons, we have, don't read that, we have the Fist of Soul Trapping, naturally. I should have renamed it to Soul Tap now that I think about it. Anyway, why is it, oh, that's why they're all 41. Oh, that's a shame. Anyway, these are the fists, these are the unarmed weapons that come with uh, the hand-to-hand -hand combat mod. Basically, you can, as you can see, enchant these. This one absorbs stamina. My enchantment is really low, so I'm not getting much value out of the enchantments on here. And I have to spend a lot of soul stones, or gems, whatever, to keep them charged. Oh, he does buy these. Nice. Just gonna go ahead and get this junk out of here. Actually, that's a really nice effect. I wish I could take that off of there. <sighs> Why do you have to be so poor? I need this guy to have more money. Is there anything I can buy from him? Oh, it sucks having to deal with... With the freaking merchants like this. Oh, and there's these. I'm not sure which mod this comes from. This might come from the Way of the Monk mod. I don't really know. Anyway, there are also hand-to-hand -hand weapons like this, which aren't, which don't count as unarmed. Just so you, just so you know. I think they might for the way of the monk, but not for the hand-to-hand -hand combat mod. Anyway, this has a 10% chance to disarm your opponent. I, just so you know, <clears throat> you cannot take this enchantment and apply it to any other weapon. You just can't. It, I don't know why it doesn't work, but it doesn't work. I need this guy to have more money, but he he's just so Family. poor. I'm pretty sure I have the mod that, that gives merchants more money. Maybe. But I can't bring myself to do it because it just doesn't feel right either. Also, the frame rate anywhere outdoors has tanked since I've installed the the lighting mod. There's one other place we can sell things, and it's up here to the right. Ugh. My heart 
goes out to climb shot the shield. If this is causing drop frames, then we're going to have a problem. I lost I don't my twin sister a while back. Take a look. Have you ever lost? Please, by my god dang uh, staffs. Oh, that's good. That's very good. We've got a lot of heavy stuff that I really want to get rid of. Grand Staff of Charming. Oh, great. She's poor, too. Is it too much to ask? But if I install the Merchant mod... It doesn't make sense for her to have a whole lot of money because she's a dark elf in a place where they hate dark elves or... <sighs> All I want is to get rid of stuff. Oh, this can go. That's a lot of weight. Get out of here. she have anything of value to me? Why in the world would she? Right, while I while I'm thinking about it, now, I installed a, a I think it was a clothing mod or something. They gave me access to some frankly pretty nice looking gear. I just can't wear it because it changes the body's uh, figure in a way that I really don't want. But, some of the clothes that you find, well, the mod install also sets you on a quest for a bunch of the books you need in order to create the armor of that mod. At the very end, you find, well, depending on where you start, you find a bow with the, with the effect known as Slayer, which has this effect. If a human target dies within X seconds, I think it was like 10 or something, it was high for on a bow too. The target explodes into a bloody pulp, which is frankly extremely necessary because all of the gear, all of the, yeah, all of the gear from the clothing sets of this mod require human hearts and human flesh don't don't ask don't tell thank you for your custom oh god i'm getting like five fps here i just need to get out of here where do we need to go can't go there because i need a goddamn key what's here okay let's get the Freaking uh, amulet shard from here. Why in the world did it sound like I was underwater? That's awful. My computer hates this game now. So we need to go here. So I guess this is what we're going to be doing today. Mostly this video's point was just to let you guys know why there hasn't why there wasn't a video yesterday and that's something I want. So let's go ahead and get that. I don't know if I actually want or need this, but I'm going to take it. The frick That's terribly awkward. What the frick is causing that? <sighs> yeah, and I better quick save because I only just realized that I haven't saved in a long time. But yes, as I was saying, this video is...
This video is mostly to let you guys know why there wasn't one sooner. Why there weren't wasn't one yesterday. I don't remember if there was one the day before. Oh my god. I <sighs> Okay, there's a container full of valuables nearby. This means we need... That means we need to rush through here. Because... As a part... I'm going to stop the... I'm going to stop time here. Because as part of the... Sneak tree from the Ordinator mod... Well, yeah, that's fine. There's... One perk... No, not sneak but I think it's pickpocketing or lockpicking lockpicking it's definitely lockpicking there's a perk in the lockpicking tree that allows you to sense no it, it marks treasure chests I don't know if it does it with unlocked ones if there are no locked ones in the area but there's a there's a perk that lets you mark treasure chests or locked chests of pretty much any kind, <clears throat> increasing the value of the contents within by 50%. There is then a perk that follows it that further increases that amount by, uh, by a certain amount should you be able to lockpick lock pick them within 15 seconds. There is also, a, somewhere around there, a perk that allows that effect... No. That effect works even in dungeons. There's a perk after those that doubles the amount of... doubles or triples the amount of time that the effect remains in place when you're in a dungeon. Thank goodness, too, because some of these dungeons are extensive. Twice I've entered dungeons and been unable to find the treasure chest in time. <sighs> what else? Right. The amount of time at base for this effect is 120 seconds. So you have two minutes to find it, usually. In dungeons, that's... I'm pretty sure it's doubled, right? Double, 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 double. Uh, we're looking for lockpicking. Yeah, and Nose for Treasure also allows me to specify a very specific type of loot that I want to drop uh, from chests marked by Robber's Eye, which makes them drop higher tier loot. Three times. So. Wait. Wait, 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 what? What? Hold on. Requires level 40. Wait, how did I unlock this if I only have lock picking at 42? I am not entirely sure what is up with this, but I do know that the Ordinator perk mod is overriding the arcane archery mod which is if I'm right what I was worried about in the previous video that you guys actually saw where I thought that the tree had uh, just up and vanished no I, that I thought the perks had all been removed from the tree in fact the archery arcane archery mods tree is still there and its perks are still in effect 
I guess. But, well, I have made sure that the time slow is still there when you're aiming, so I know that the perks are still active, but... It's also had this really, really bad effect where... I have... Restoration at 90 and destructive at, Destruction at 87, even though I don't use either of those all that often, not especially now. And I've never used Restoration that much, so... I don't... It, so my... My perk tree... The skill... All of these are just completely screwed up. And I bought these legitimately, so I don't know why... Why I don't have these anymore. <sighs> God dang it, man. So I literally only have two minutes to find the treasure chest. <clears throat> Which explains a lot, frankly. I, I, I can't leave it like this. I really can't. And I don't remember the goddamn console code for it. Oh, command. I think it's INCPS? Right. <sighs> okay, I think we've taken care of it. But it's not going to actually take it take effect now <sighs> and given what we're after in this dungeon it's unlikely we're going to reach it in time reach the marked chest in time sure hope I went the right way Being an Argonian, we don't need to worry about... Breathing underwater. Well, we can breathe underwater, so we don't need to worry about drowning. But I've got to put a move on. I cannot afford to wait. Oh, dear. in the world oh, god dang it man so we have what is it finger of death won't work here because we're dealing with monsters and maybe maybe we'll be dealing with the undead too Anyway, this needs to go. Why did it unequip the weapons from here? And soul trapping. Definitely need that more. Now, you may see my left hand glowing. That is because we have a spell active. Wait. We have a spell active that basically, whenever we power attack, it creates a fiery explosion. I haven't found much use for it because it requires me to prep ahead of time before a fight actually starts, which is... Ooh, what did I just pick up? Blade of Coats. Okay. But 
trick. Did I, did I misread it then? Ah. Yeah. Uh, I guess that was it. I don't see any other armor. Unless I overlooked it. Whatever. There's a treasure chest with... With my name on it. Yeah, so apparently it does not... Yeah, Slayer doesn't work on the undead, so I can swap off of that. Instead... Can't spend too much time messing around with these guys. Infinite fisting, and we can get this off of here. So, I also have a spell. Oh dear. Oh, that. Oh. I heard it coming, I just wasn't sure what it was. I need a linen wrap to create something. I don't remember what. I think it's a book or something. I don't know what the book is for. As I was saying, I have a spell. What does... What do these pillars need to be changed to? Oh. <clears throat> we have snake, whale, bird, and whale. Snake, bird, two whales, right? Yeah, this should be it. I hate this place. I'm not going to get to the treasure chest in time. Okay, if we look at it left to right, we've got snake first, then whale, then bird, then whale. Snake is behind me, that's first, then whale. Then bird. No, whale is supposed to be last. Oh, there it is. Snake, then bird. No, it's snake, then whale, then bird. I mean, so it was right the first time? Snake, whale, birds, whale. Snake, whale, bird, then whales. Yeah, it should be working now. We're never going to make it to that chest in time. Well, let's reverse it. It is snake, whale, bird, then whale. Wait.
then it would have to be whale bird whale snake whale bird but I did that Frankly, I would imagine the order itself shouldn't matter. But clearly I'm wrong on that. As the goddamn gate won't open. So we've got whale bird, whale snake, which is what it already is. I've already tried whale, snake whale, bird whale. That doesn't work. So... Bird, whale, whale, snake? sucks. Armor of Recuperation. <clears throat> that took longer than it had any right to. For those curious, the correct answer was bird whale, snake whale. Sometimes I really hate this game. shot me with arrows. Great. It took a lot of dying to get me to this point. Of course, these are all normal enemies. These aren't... Oh, that was the buff falling off. These aren't any of the enemies added by the Vigilant mod, so you have to keep that in mind. Did you just shout at me? There's a lever. Here, now go get him. Oh, I do want this, actually. Whoa. What? Oh. Well, that's certainly a thing that... Okay. Oh, that'll be worth something.
I don't imagine it would be wise if we just stand here. How do I get around? Oh, that's why the buff didn't reactivate, because I was still in combat with that idiot. She gave me a hunting bow, well, the lover stone gave me a hunting bow of fatigue just now. Of course I can. You can hide from me. Now I am no longer in combat. But she is. So does it count as me being in combat? Yes, yes it does. Found you. Creates a tornado at the target location. A direct hit sucks up a target, dealing 40 frost net frost damage for 10 seconds. Nearby targets take half damage, and no, it only works outdoors. Sure, I'll take... What the... What's this? Giruman's Epitaph, Archmage of Windhelm. Lord Battle Mage to King Herald. Magis keep thy vigil eternal. Serve now in death as you did in life. By these seals our realm preserve. From Traitors 3 and their charm of strife. the way we came then. I have to admit, the music is really nice. I'm praying it isn't copywritten. Well, let's go ahead and see what we picked up. I wasn't going to, but why not? Blades of Nova have no no Doa have. Huh. Okay. What am, what am I missing? There has to be another switch that gets that. makes the bridge lower, right? Also, I'm wearing something I shouldn't be. I just remembered it. Um, do I replace it with? Oh, yeah. This.
Oh, there it is. Thankfully, I don't need to worry about any... Ugh. I don't need to worry about stepping on traps because... I don't trigger them. Oh, crap! I was not expecting that. need water breathing now that I think about it okay that's where they want me to go you know we don't pay attention to that okay so that's that's fine don't want to have to whip out a bow on this guy. the only one shouting. Increases your stamina by 30 points. Interesting. And the writ of sealing. Be bound here, sick, this murderer, betrayer. Condemned by your crimes against realm and lord. May your name and your deeds be forgotten forever. And the charm which you bear be sealed by our ward. Aldor Blackbow. <laughs> Whatever. This is what we're here for. Yeah, I don't need arrows. So, I think we're all set. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything up here. So, if I was a betting man, 
I'd say that this was the chest that was marked by the so it just sort of dropped the armor here huh I would say that this is the chest that was marked by the perk uh, robber's eye is what it's called I'd rather not Call upon the services of a lower ranking battle mage for what three minutes? Activate to purchase permanent upgrades. I don't what? Activate to purchase permanent upgrades. I guess. God dang it. Dragon Priest Cloak. What do you have that's doing that? Mm -hmm. Of course. It's not that. I have no idea why she's going invisible Let when she crouches. I'm pretty sure she doesn't have a spell for that. She didn't do this before. It has to be coming from something we gave her, right? But I didn't give her anything that has an enchantment that does that. That's where we went down. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for us today. If this video actually... If I'm able to actually end this video properly and get it edited, you'll see it today. If not... Well... Who needs sanity anyway? I do apologize that the most of the earlier part of the video is taken up by me having to explain the situation and then get you guys up to date on where we currently are with our builds and none of this transpired in the part of the none of this transpired within the vigilant mod which is why you were all here in the first place right yeah Now, I can't promise the next video. I have to record three more today. I can't promise the next video is going to transpire in the Vigilant mod either. Because I'm still grappling with the finer parts of the mod. Or the, cl the class we're choosing to go with for the second mod. I was going to go with Archery to have... Um, Glory, as this character's name is, sort of honor a shell's sacrifice or death, whatever the case may be, and take up her bow. But frankly, that's just not where we are now with the with our build allows us to stand on our own two feet. Then again, the, the Vigilant mod will probably bend us over, won't it? Not much that can be done about that, though, you know? Nevertheless, I hope you guys have enjoyed some... something that happened in this video. It was a rough one, and I still don't know if it's going to actually end properly.
so I better not put it off any longer. <clears throat> and so, with all that said, we will see you next time.